It's Friday, that means it's time to take a look at the week's news and pictures from the world of celebrity. OK, first up is the celebrity quote of the week, and it comes from supermodel Heidi Klum. Now, in an interview with Style magazine, she said about her marriage to the singer Seal, I don't flirt. It's disrespectful to your husband. I would never do that. I'm very devoted, and he's the same. So, girls, is she right? Should you only ever flirt with a man in your life? <laughs> I think she is right, actually. Oh, shut <laughs> up. I do! I do! I do! I do! You know, whether he's there or not, I think it is disrespectful. Carol's to flirt future, with a member Carol's of future the mother in law's in the audience. <laughs> I wonder if this has got anything to do with it. <laughs> Anything to do. I've always said that actually, yeah, and are. I do. You know, I just I don't like being at parties with couples, and and you know the woman or the man goes off and starts flirting with somebody. I think it's really rude. But and Carol, you can't what? flirt anyway. You couldn't flirt for seven years. That's why you never had any jiggy jigs for seven years. Because <laughs> you know anybody. <laughs> that is true, but that's not the point. Even if I could flirt, I wouldn't flirt. I but wouldn't. you can't. Therefore, that's why it's easy for you not to. Yeah, but you know, I whatever, whatever. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's wrong for anyone to do it if they're in a relationship. What? Whether they're there or not. What are you doing? You, you're a flirt. Well, I am a flirt, but I don't see there's anything wrong with flirting. But I, I'm quite a flirtatious person. I flirt with women and men, not in that sort of way, obviously. <laughs> well, only when I'm drunk. But anyway, I'm only joking. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I think I think it's great to have a little bit of a flirt, and yeah. I think that no matter how happy you are in a relationship, it doesn't hurt to know that that you've still got that sort of I like, flirtability a huge factor. Flirt. Eamon is a flirt, a but in a flirt. in a totally inoffensive yes, way. I think there's flirting and flirting there's kind of slightly seedy flirting if i thought it was you know if i thought he was disrespectful to me at a party or something i would What's have something to say but it's no, not because if you're with your but partner it's not, it's not, not fair flirting to do it. as in you know it's going to lead anywhere i just think it's fun whether that i would do that whether anyone was there or not i'm not mm. a huge flirt actually he's a much bigger flirt than me but it doesn't bother me no i mean and actually there's he's charming so what's the difference you know he'll be in a, well, a restaurant it, and he'll to... talk to the waitress and say oh i love your accent where you're from some people might say well, he's flirting with her i go no he's not he's just being charming and polite and and anyway chat. i think seal was a bit flirty was when he? he was on when seal he was, was on not here. flirty on yes, the he show was he was a just flirty. a lovely charming. lovely bloke jane you're not a flirt. flirty yes, in a nice I way i am a flirt and i think it's quite healthy actually i, I do like to i do i think a good flirt now and again what we're <laughs> <wind -a> <laughs> hey listen to window window shopping love and there's not wrong with window shopping it's <laughs> just because you know does he do it yeah he's a bigger flirt than me well what's the point and Jane's got a flirty to the camera thing when she does her. Listen, <laughs> 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 yeah. Carol, we'll come back. We'll come back when you've been together ten years, and I bet yeah. you'll be having exactly. a little flirt at a party. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next topic <laughs> in the spotlight this week is Hollywood actor Kiefer Sutherland, uh, who plays FBI agent Jack Barr, of course, in uh, that fantastic series Twenty Four. Now, have a look at this. He turned up on the David Letterman show wearing this. <laughs> yes, oh, isn't, he, isn't he lovely? Yes, it is a dress. Don't, your eyes aren't deceiving you, he is wearing a dress. But then he was very quick nice to explain one. that he was wearing it because he'd lost a bet with a mate. Um, he described the experience as the most humiliating moment of his life. I can see why. <laughs> um, but do you respect him, though, for actually going through with a bet? Well, yeah, because, you know, if somebody bets you something and you're up for it, then you should follow it through. Mm. I, I, it happened to me once on a ship when I used to... I used to work on a cruise ship, I don't know if anybody knows. <laughs> but um, I, I got bet once that I did the whole show with a parrot on my shoulder. <laughs> And I did the whole show <laughs> with a parrot on my shoulder. What, without ne referencing it Never at referenced all? it once. And Not a real one. an eyelid. Not a real one. No, it was yeah. a stuffed one. But uh, it just sat on my shoulder the whole way through the show. And, yeah. uh, and I never cracked a smile. I wouldn't... I hate, I hate bets. So, yeah. I don't like them anyway. And if, even if it's I like said... like a dare, Yeah, it? I'll do that. Yeah, dare. I'd probably say I would and then I wouldn't. I'd always renege at the last no. one. Oh, yeah. Would you take a walk? No. I, well, I have done. I have done. In my earlier years, when I was reckless and... A bit looser than I am now. Yeah, probably, probably yeah. did. But you know, whenever, whenever I make a bet now, it's always ridiculous. I always say, look, I bet you fifteen thousand million pounds. You can't do that <laughs> because then it doesn't mean anything, does it? They haven't got so fifteen thousand exactly. million. So you never have to go through with it. So you know, sometimes it's a bit of fun. But oh. I don't like any kind of betting, gambling, anything. So well, no, you, I don't tend not to do it. You'd do a dare, wouldn't you? No, Would you I don't do a dare. Need? But I mean, looking at that photo of Kiefer, Kiefer, it looks normal to me because, of course, all the men in my 
my family dress up in dresses all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> not really a bet. <laughs> OK, now, finally, dynasty actress Stephanie Beecham, she revealed to her big brother at Celebrity Housemates this week that she was once offered £40,000 for a night of no-strings passion. Yeah, well, actually, she didn't take them up on the offer, I hasten to add. But if someone asked you the same thing, would you or wouldn't you, girls? That's the big question. <laughs> Indecent proposals. Um, I'd feel honoured if I was offered 40 grand. <laughs> um, yeah, you're not worth that. <laughs> 50p, mate. Go on. Um, oh, right. 75, I might consider. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a tough one, isn't it? Because it's a bit like Indecent Proposal, isn't it, that film? I mean, I'm sort of thinking if we're talking about in early days before marriage and children and stuff, I suppose in the 70s when I was young, free and single, <laughs> and 40 grand would have been a lot of money. Again, it depends on whether you're taking circumstances into... You know, obviously, it would, it would, it would, it, there's a big whole thing there, but... I'm feeling a yes, I would coming on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, think I have to you're... say, I think that maybe... Um, well, considering I've done it for free with some mingers in my time... <laughs> your hesitation because if, yeah. if we are talking about maybe in our 20s and things and we were all broke and stuff it would be very tempting i'd probably consider it for a couple of minutes and go oh, what i could do with 40 grand i pay off my overdrawn da, da, da. but i would never have said yes because to me it, it's prostituting yourself at the end of the day however you dress it yeah, up but, you know so and in, in your 20s though i think you know so i don't know about you but i had a, a different a very liberal attitude towards <laughs> sex. So did I. I still so. do a bit, but I mean, not like I like I was then in my in my late teens as well. And it was and very liberal doing I it for would money. Have, I would have mm. jumped at the chance, you know, because everybody's in debt when they're younger, aren't they? And it mm. all goes wrong, and you've got no job, and things go, you know, a bit. Life, so yeah, if someone had come along, it, and, and probably if if it was someone who'd asked to sleep with me, I probably would have said yes anyway, even if he was <laughs> not <laughs> offering forty thousand pounds. Honestly, I used to like. Getting off with blokes when I was younger, I wouldn't now, obviously, because no. I'm getting married chances to Chances are, gorgeous, though, chances are, if they're just blokes, I wouldn't do it now. It's for you money, Jane, yeah, if they I, are going to be a bit It's the whole minger, thing of they? the money being left at the, you know, it's just like that says paid for services rendered. Mm, 40 it? grand, though. 40 grand, though, it's a good one, that. But, <laughs> saying <laughs> that. but saying that, I did watch the film Indecent Proposal, and if Robert Redford had have offered me a million, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I yeah, think but I might have hesitated a bit longer. Well, you'd have yeah. done it. Yeah, yeah, but you'd do it for now with Robert yeah. Redford. <laughs> <laughs> you know you'd do it for now with most people. But no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, not anymore, Ruth. But it's me bothered. Has everyone?